Hey guys, Jimbo Evan here, and today I have some news on the new 1.9 update in Minecraft. Pretty much in this video, I'm going to be explaining every single thing pretty much new about Minecraft and stuff like that. Uh, also, if you guys want to see this page for yourself, a link to it will be in the description. But let's go ahead and go over it. So pretty much there's a big update uh, known as the pretty much the combat update, as you can see here. Uh, it's it's pretty much coming to uh, Minecraft with no uh, set release date, so we pretty much have no clue when this update is going to be coming, but hopefully it does come soon. What they're adding is uh, pretty much a ton of things. Let me just go ahead and go scroll down over here. Uh, but pretty much as you guys can see, uh, the planned additions, they're going to be adding animations in utility models, uh, pretty much that stuff, so you might uh, in cost include. Uh, implemented via resource packs, uh, will make use of the code, uh, so mapping mod makers can create, uh, new slash better mobs and stuff like that. Uh, same block data changes in 1.8, so nothing's new there. Uh, and the features may not be 100% complete for the new blocks, and new, uh, block type. Uh, the new block type is known as the dark colored block, so adding a new block into Minecraft, which is pretty cool. Uh, the block, uh, cannot be obtained and does not uh, naturally generate so you will never find it even if you pretty much uh, create a new Minecraft world or whatever in one dot now you'll just never find it maybe in the new uh, pretty much for uh, like the next version after this like for example sponge you couldn't really find it for a certain period of time and then they added in uh, and stuff like that they had it at the beginning and then they got rid of it and they put it back in so it's all really weird with that stuff um, and then has a visual effect on the world which is pretty cool uh, they added a, uh, well, they pretty much did something, I think they did something with the grass path, uh, a 15 by 6, uh, block, uh, tall grass path, like a fact, uh, features a somewhat similar texture to the grass block, so I believe that's like a new grass block, grass path, so it's like similar or something like that, uh, subtitles can be slain on sounds, hearing for deaf, uh, example would be creeper hissing, uh, so we won't worry about that. Uh, this is the really good part. Uh, pretty much they added a new left hand to Minecraft. That is, that's gonna be really cool. You got a now two hands, like, got a bunch of mods that you have, like, two hands in Minecraft. So you have option to play with the left hand as the main hand, which is pretty cool. Uh, the main hand acts as, like, the right hand previously did, while the other hand may equip item, uh, through a new offhand slot. So pretty much, like, the main hand is act like, uh, the normal right hand did in Minecraft. And then the other hand, you can, like, equip uh, items so you can mine with it. You can kill mobs with it or whatever, and you can just do a, a ton of stuff like that. Uh, shown by shield outline will outline the entry. That's pretty cool. So you get like some sort of shield. Uh, well, weapons can be equipped in both hands. A weapon may be used uh, in the equipped main hand. Oh, that really sucks. So you can't do double mining. Uh, so only in the main hand the weapon can be used. But it can be really cool because it looks like you have two uh, pretty much weapons, which is pretty cool. So maybe if like. Uh, I don't know exactly, but maybe the main hand switches depending on what's in there. So maybe if your sword gets destroyed or something like that, you have another sword to back you up. Or you have a, a pick and a sword in one hand, you can switch between them or something like that. Uh, the other hand is only visible to the player uh, when something is equipped there. So you won't see it unless you have something equipped there. Uh, blo the blocking with swords is removed. Oh, you can't block anymore? That really sucks. So now, like, when you did, like, the left click, you can't do that anymore. That really sucks. Like, if you could block from the old version, uh, well, not the old version, the current version right now, uh, the blocking was just really nice, especially from, like, bows and stuff like that, just blocking was really good. Uh, the replacement for blocking when I'll wield, wield a shield in the offhand slot. Oh my god, so now you have, like, a shield in one hand, and you have, like, your sword in the other hand, so, like, you have your shield there, you run up, and you, like, attack... Oh my god, that is really cool. So, generating new structures, a new type of dungeon, uh, and mobs. So, the new dark colored block, like, up over there. Um, so, it's like the dungeon, I think, made of the block, and then there's going to be new mobs, which is pretty cool. They added quilvers. Oh, these things. I remember hearing about them. I don't. I think they removed those, or, like, they had them at some sort of point, so it holds arrows. That's really good. So, now, like, you don't have to worry about having so many arrows, but then kind of infinity. I don't know what they're going to do with infinity. Are they removing that? It doesn't look like they're removing, like, infinity, so it could be good if you don't have, like, the infinity upgrade. Uh, text was really named by Nock, uh, and it was added. Yeah, he added the, uh, pretty much... The Indian 19, uh, it was unused texture, at least four new arrow types... 
four new arrow types. Okay, that's that's really cool. So maybe there's like uh, flaming arrows. Like I know they already have flaming arrows, but I'm saying maybe like arrows have stuff. So maybe you could have like diamond arrows or iron arrows that do more damage, which is pretty cool. Uh, one such as the spectral arrow. That's pretty cool. Uh, then the shields, uh, the black shield outline in the pitcher, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm not really going to go into any pitchers and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so uh, that's going to be really cool. So you're going to get like a new arrow. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff they're adding in 1.9. Uh, plan changes. Uh, so you got bosses, which is pretty cool. So a uh, proper uh, multi-boss health bar. So they show them at the exact same time uh, without starting each other. Uh, Ender Dragon boss fight. Uh, a redo of the Ender Dragon boss will make it similar to the console edition. I believe in the console edition, the Ender Dragon comes back or whatever, or something like that. So it's gonna do, uh, I believe, I don't know exactly. Some obsidian pillars will have iron bars surrounding them in the, uh, surrounding the Ender Crystal. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, um, pretty much, uh, before what you would do is you would shoot the towers down. Now you actually have to go in there and destroy the iron bar. So that's going to make it harder, actually, to destroy the ender dragon. So it's going to be a uh, better achievement. The ender dragon now breathes purple particles. So that's going to be pretty cool. Maybe that does more damage and stuff like that. The ender dragon will be able to respond without uh, resetting the end uh, if it has been already recalled. So that's really cool. Now you're going to get the ender dragon back a lot. But that's going to really suck for people with farms and stuff like that. Uh, but then again, like, it's gonna be good for XP, like, if they had a, uh, like, just for destroying it, and, uh, yeah, just the XP. Clouds do cloud rendering system, that's pretty good. Commands, uh, wait for, uh, mod in, uh, plugin makers to develop new cans and register in a simple way, so that's really good. Uh, I was up there about uh, making mobs and stuff like that easier, so this is pretty much just helping, uh, mod makers make stuff easier, uh, and stuff like that, which is really, really good. Command box will now have a new, uh, GI, which is really good. Uh, this will contain a tab to complete, that's, that's good too. Death messages, a death message will now be displayed on death screen, instead of just in the chat. Okay, that, that's pretty good. Uh, strongholds, doors and strongholds are no longer, uh, misplaced, so that's good, because before I believe they had, like, weird doors that would be, be in, like, the, like, if you have, like, a double door, they would be a little bit back, so you could easily walk through, which would be kind of stupid, so now they fix that. Inventory, rearrange the survival inventory, and the cradle to the survival tab, uh... How many of the new quick circle and the shield slots? Okay, that's that's really good. So now they're gonna accommodate for that. Uh, shader switch any uh, away from the use uh, fix function. Okay, okay, that's pretty good. So then we have uh, uh, what's it called plan fixes. Um, this is from the release versions before. Uh, what's it called before nine thousand eight? Just all this stuff. So I'm not gonna get into that. But hopefully, guys, you pretty much uh. Uh, pretty much like this video. It's really cool how they have a new, like, they're going to be introducing pretty much, uh, what's it called? Uh, pretty much the new Minecraft 1.9 version in Minecraft, which is going to be pretty cool. I'm so psyched for that. I'm just, I can't believe that that's actually going to be happening. New Minecraft 1.9 version. Uh, the 1.8 came out recently. Well, not that recently. Uh, but then I believe 1.8.6 um, came out really recently. Uh, and, and pretty much, like, the 1.8... I thought that was going to be, like, the big update, and then after that, there was going to be, like, small updates and stuff like that, but then they're like, Minecraft what down 9, we're doing a giant update again, that's really cool, uh, I love how Microsoft is, like, just doing so much with Minecraft, uh, and it's just making it really, really cool, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, uh, definitely be, like, to, uh, definitely be sure to click the link in the description to check this out, uh, for yourself, so that you guys can pretty much look at the, look at this and look at, uh, pretty much the cool, uh, like the pictures and stuff like that that I'm not showing this for you and stuff like that uh, for yourself. But that is pretty much the meat for this video, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, guys, be sure to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to reply to the Jimbo Lovin Cop Network for 70% of the share, guys. But that's me, guys. This has been Jimbo Lovin, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.